Uh, do we have any more? Or are we? Yeah, we have there, more. I got. I know that I got more. You want Jackson? Yeah. All right. What's up, Ted Tucker Schlatt? Let's get this shit done. A I T A. Let's go. I was in middle school, so this is when it was me, fourteen male. I think that's how you do it. And then okay. I was in English class, am. and I was like, I gotta go to the freaking bathroom. Oh, and the yeah, teacher was this. like, make it snappy. So I went to the men's bathroom, and all the stalls were full. And I was like, I really gotta take a poopy, yo. So I thought I knew who was in one of the stalls because I saw my buddy go in there recently. So I was like, let me check if it's him. So I jumped up on the stall door and I was hanging on it and I peeked over and it was my buddy. And I was like, yeah, what's up, Mike? And Mike was like, why are you looking at me right now? That's kind of weird. And I was like, I'm going to keep doing it. And then the stall door I was hanging on fell off the hinges because you're not supposed to hang on those apparently. It gets worse. And then it fell on the ground made a huge loud bang noise and then right after that happened i hear over the intercom uh the school's on shooter lockdown what everybody stay in your classrooms because they thought the door hitting the ground was a gunshot and we were locked outside of the classroom and then we couldn't explain to them that it wasn't a shooter and then eventually everyone got sent home because of it so really it was kind of a good thing because you know we didn't want to be in school because we were middle schoolers and we all got sent home because of me so is that a bad thing that i did aita yeah give me your thoughts well, first of all crazy that a middle school has a procedure for school shooters um imagine a fucking 11 or 12 year old roaming the hallways with a fucking gun that's crazy <laughs> You can, anyone can, well, yeah, I, I don't want right. to say, I don't want to say this in like a weird way, but you can walk in anywhere with a gun. You don't have to be 11 to walk, oh. to shoot up a middle school. <laughs> That's actually the problem. <laughs> well, yeah, that is, that is an issue for sure. I think, it, I think I was thinking more That's like, terrible. I was thinking more from like the, like in the scenarios where there's a school shooter yeah. where it's like a, a, a. A, a grump, a, a angry person who goes to that school coming with a right. gun kind of thing. Right. Not just a fucking guy showing up in yeah. the middle of school. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if this guy's necessarily the asshole in this situation. I mean, I guess it's it's like the story just kept getting worse. Like, he had to poo. Did, yeah, and then he like, worse. it sounds like you're just a dope. Like, you're a dopey kid yeah. just hanging on the fucking a bit doors. dopey, maybe kind of overstepped some boundaries there with your buddy who yeah. was not cool with you looking at him shitting. Yeah. Um, no, that would have, that, dude, that's the worst. That would have avoided the school shooter lockdown probably if you just like listened to your boy. But, uh, you know, kids will be kids. Yeah. Boys will be boys, you know. It's definitely at that, like right at the edge of that age where there's a specific age of kids when it comes to, at least with kid boys, when you're yeah. in the school bathrooms where like they, some of them don't believe when a stall is locked. Mm. And so there's an age range where they will check. And b- by looking under the stalls, this has happened to me before when I was younger, where like kids will like look under the stalls to see if there's someone actually there. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's always a pain in the ass. It's because those same kids were locking them and then crawling out under and leaving it. <laughs> so <Yeah>. they're so they, <laughs> that's true. So that's they're true. like, did somebody get me back this time? Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> reserved your, my your time stall to be for later. To... Yep. Yeah. Did that has that happened to you, Tucker? Where you've been you've been locked out of an empty one? No. Oh. I didn't use the. I probably did not go into a stall bathroom my entire time, but K through. Oh well. yeah. I used the fucking. School bathrooms use the, the hell time. out of it. I did not fuck with school bathrooms. Dude, yeah. I think mean? I've used it. I've used a school bathroom maybe five times in my life. Like I used them all the I time, just, dude. I, I was probably the greatest user. Class. Since college, things have you. changed. I'll tell you that much. I'd use them in college, definitely, but I'm not. I'm not going down the hallway. Yeah. Once that IBS starts kicking in, yeah, your mid twenties. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what was the? I remember it was the greatest. I, the moment of my development of realizing that I had choice and I had options was I remember in high school we had this one teacher Mr. Green 
and he made it very clear to us this was an AP Euro, but like he like at that point when you're, you know, a senior in high school or whatever, they're like, You have rights. But like he had to make it clear he was like, just so you guys know, uh you can just leave class. You don't need to ask me for permission to wow. go to the bathroom. Okay. All right. Um and Tucker, if you've ever heard Mr. Green speak, you know that's a kick ass impression of him. I but never uh seen him. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, weird that we had to, though, and when we had to ask permission to go shit. Yeah. Well, it's because half the kids for a certain age are lying. Yeah. They're just wandering the halls. Like, you elementary school kids, like sixth graders? Yeah. Those kids are just definitely, roaming. Definitely. Yeah, they're looking for fucking, yeah. they're looking for extra objective side quests. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd see, you'd see, you'd be sitting in class and, like, you'd see someone from, from the other the other cluster or whatever, just pop his head out up through the door and like, <laughs> he was a fucking roamer. You knew it. I remember there was like, in elementary school, there'd be like a bathroom pass. There was like a girl's pass and a boy's pass. And someone mm. would take it and go and come back and like put, hang it back up. And then you, the next person who wanted to go could take it. But so only one kid could be out of the class at a time. And I remember you'd see a kid get, take it. And you're like, oh, that kid's going to be walking around the halls for 20 yep. minutes. <laughs> You're like damn it, I gotta pee. Yeah, yeah. And then the and then the when the teacher addresses them, where they're like, "Have you ever had that happen?" Where the kid comes back after being gone for like 15, 20 minutes, and they're like, "Where the fuck were you?" Half the class is over. <laughs> you ever had that moment? I've, I've had that moment where where the kid's getting addressed like that. I'm like, "Ooh, shit, shit, <laughs> that's bad." Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 